Well, we just had an event happen. <laughs> we came out here and was doing snacks and checking waters. It's been a rainy day all day. Um, I got all the teenagers outside taken care of. And I could hear these chicks in here, so I come in here and uh, over here I gave them water and their food and I'm watching them. But there's still a lot of loud, angry commotion going on. So I look down because I'm figuring out how to switch out their water. The other water that's over there, I was going to clean out and then put it in here. Well, I was sitting here trying to reach in and get to that water and <laughs> having issues. I look down and what is your problem? And these guys are over here and they're at the fence and outside of the fence is one of the little twins. It's outside again. So we're not sure where he came through at. I thought it was the front. So he must have got in with them and then got out. Because he's so small. That's why I still can't let them out. It's like, they're just too small. Silkies take forever to get big and they can get through in tiny little gaps. So I had to catch him and come for a while. I kept trying to call my husband out and to help me. Because all these guys were staying at the fence. They were upset. Baby was upset. Baby was screaming with distress signal. And all the adults were like, you better sell that baby down. So I was like, I might to, but you're also blocking the way. <laughs> but yeah, I look in there and there's only one twin. When I picked him up, uh, he was running, but then he let me pick him up. He just didn't want to be held very long either and I tried uh, holding water and food up in my hand to him like I used to and he was refusing it and pecked at me a little bit like and then when my husband held him like he got totally pecked and I'm like hmm is it the other twin I don't think it is I think it's the same one because he would have ran more when I picked him up and held him but he was running a lot more than he normally would. So normally I just let him hover on my shoulder or whatever and he doesn't run away. But yeah. It's bittersweet. It's a good sign that he wasn't wanting me to give him food and water and cuddles. He wanted to get back to his family. But also, how is he getting out? <laughs> Tiny little buggers. And that's enough. Just the bad news with this water system is this Rinnecoop water there. I know it's dirty right now because actually part of the reason. Um, after I got him back in the cage and secured the cage, we blocked it in the front some more. Uh, I noticed that there was water on the floor there. And it hadn't been there earlier. And I don't even think, I tried to unclog the junk in the front, but I hadn't totally refilled that water because I had refilled it this morning. So apparently that must have cracked during the freeze and it's leaking. Because I know it was full and now it's drained again and it was all over the floor. And that was a good little water. I really like the cups. So I'm really sad about this. I'm going to take it out and see what can be done for it. Yeah. That was our excitement. Probably been more exciting if y'all could see me holding home, but I couldn't do that and have the phone. I called my husband. <laughs> we gave them all wormies and They should be happy for a little bit. But all together, <laughs> we still haven't lost anybody, so I'm really happy for that. It just has not stopped raining all day long today. Everything a little stir crazy, huh? Okay, wormy. So many of these chicks are roosters. <laughs> 
And my husband's all, when he got pecked by the little twin, he's like, you're a rooster, aren't you? <laughs> such big fluff balls, but they could still escape <laughs> little tiny cracks right in the world. Must be mostly fluff, huh? Big hands the Isa Reds are laying eggs like regular, but my uh, Beth Orpington and uh, Jersey Giant has stopped since the freeze. So hopefully they'll be happier again soon, but they don't like this weather. All the silkies are still down here laying their eggs, except for Mama. She laid one egg, one or two eggs, but Keep up with it. <laughs> All right, how about like that? It's so funny, they're all different colors. She's like, don't you touch my babies again. Okay, I promise I'll try not to. <laughs> you have a crow, buddy? We had some crow offs in the front earlier. Here when snowballs and crow in here. Yeah. What do you think of the babies in there? Were you nice to him when he came out here? Were you nice when the little one got out? Or did you chase him out of your area? It's so quiet now. Oh, well, the baby's got close to the door. The Mars reacted like that. What's that, Doodle? Oh, you better not fly over here. <laughs> 